one in every three seafarers in the world is a Filipino, making us the ship manning capital of the world. The Philippines is also the number one supplier of maritime officers in the global shipping industry. This is because we have some of the finest maritime schools, and none is better than the Maritime Academy of Asia and the Pacific, or MAAP. At the MAAP in Bataan, top-of-the-line full mission simulators are used to train the world's best seafarers. From building ships to manning them, the Philippines is held in high esteem worldwide. Since the 1970s, we've been known for providing professional maritime services. The government, through the Maritime Industry Authority, or MARINA, under Administrator Maximo Mejia Jr., is steering the industry towards global competitiveness. Internationally, globally, we are number one in terms of being the source of seafarers. In terms of uh, shipbuilding, number four tayo. As far as being a ship uh, registry, lagging behind compared to where we used to be about 20 years ago. In fact, we control 30% of the international market for seafarers. For Administrator Mejia, a big game changer for the industry is the close coordination among the concerned bodies in the government and private sector. We work very uh, closely with other agencies, particularly CHED, uh, NTC, and DOH. Talagang yan ang pinakamalaking game changer uh, para sa ating industriya. Nestled in a quiet town of Mariveles, Bataan, is the premier maritime school in the region. With some of the best maritime equipment today, the Maritime Academy of Asia and the Pacific, or MAAP, a highly specialized curriculum, fully equipped laboratories, plus engine and bridge simulators. Right now we are experiencing 0.5 wave height and 0.5 wavelength. All of these are available for hands-on training and education of MAAP students. It is no wonder that it produces the best maritime professionals in the world. We can simulate all uh, what we can do in the world. And uh, these simulators are the best training tool at the moment. And the best of these tools? The full mission bridge simulator and engine simulator. In the engineering department, uh, we can start the engines uh, using as if the actual simulators, actual machines. In the bridge, we can navigate the ship using all the equipments. These state-of-the-art equipment can simulate anything and everything a seafarer can encounter on board. This full mission bridge simulator is one of only three in the world. Full mission bridge simulator has a 360 degrees of field of vision. Uh, you can feel that you are, you are in actual ship. These simulators have all the equipment one can see on an actual ship, so students can prepare better for real-life scenarios. It is just like maneuvering and living in a real ship. Mga estudyante, nagkakaroon sila ng first-hand experience dito sa simulator. Makaranas sila rito ng different weather conditions. Kasi itong simulator natin, pwede natin i-alter yung wind, wave height, wavelength. The rain, or we can make it daytime, make it nighttime. For top student midshipman, first class Archie Artizona, it gives them an edge as they embark on their careers. Familiarization with equipment takes months for new seafarers. Here at MAP, it takes only a few days. When you make a single mistake, it can actually jeopardize the whole operation. While we're still here training on our school, uh, all the things that we will use, all the things that might happen, all the things that we should know, we already know that. 
Archie shared with us three core values he learned from the academy. First is that mind, you should know all the things, uh, all to know, and you should know how to actuate them or do them practically. Second thing is that you should prepare your heart because it's not an easy job to be far away from your family. And third thing is you should prepare your guts because your stomach will turn upside down. I'm sure of that. Indeed, the horizon looks bright for the Philippine maritime industry. This, in spite of the challenges brought about by shifts in policy and administration. In this with some of my colleagues about the game changers that we have, but one of the things I think is yung na centralized lahat sa marina, the exam giving, the documentation and stuff like that. Giving everything to Marina as a centralized governing body for our Philippine uh, maritime industry, it will be a big help kasi nandun na lahat eh. With everyone working together, with the best facilities available, there is no way to go but up in the seafaring business. We have the resources, we already have the centers, we ha already have the schools. So the, one of the things that we should do is we keep, uh, keep on improving, we keep on learning, we keep on uh, trying to upgrade everything as much as possible to be able to say that uh, what we have here is as much as possible in line with what we, ha uh, what we have internationally. As long as we know that our officers are competent and they possess the technical knowledge and skills and the character, the attitude, I think it will be a big step for the maritime industry and the Filipino people itself. The seafaring industry in the country is steeped in tradition. But as we have seen, it also has a keen eye on the future with new technology. But that's not the only thing undergoing transformation. Its traditional male-dominated workforce is also rapidly changing. That when Game Changer returns. Your access to smarter banking choices. You've got to have it. RCBC, smarter solutions.